applying all the transformations you learned in Algebra 2. So you have the A times the function F times X, or sometimes we have a B on the outside, so a B changes the stretch left to right, X minus H plus K, and those apply to all the different functions. So we're going to look, what does an A do? What does B do? What does H, what does K do? So let's revisit those. So here's our function. It's just the same graph that we used a minute ago. What if I multiply the function, this function, by 2? What happens? Well, the 2 is a vertical stretch. So I'm not going to change anything left to right. I'm still going to have a domain from negative 2 to positive 3. But I'm going to stretch this height doubled. I'm doubling it. So instead of going up to 2, I'm going up to 4. So at 1, I will hit 4. I'll come back down. And then same thing on the other side. At positive 1, I'm going to hit negative 4. It's going to stretch it twice as far. And then instead of going up 1 over 1 for this, I'm going to go up 2 and over 1. So my domain remains negative 2 to positive 3. But my range changes from negative 2 to positive 2. I've stretched it to negative 4 to positive 4. So that's the first transformation. The second one is what if I multiply it by a negative 1 half? Well, the negative will reflect it over the x-axis, and the 1 half will shrink it. So instead of coming up to 2 and down to negative 2, I'm only going to come up to 1 and down to negative 1. So I'm going to start left to right the same way. So I'll start here. I get reflected and shrunk. Reflected and shrunk and reflected. So this one should only go to a half. So here is my graph. And this will end. So my domain is from negative 2 to 3. But my range is from negative 1 to positive 1 instead of negative 2 to 2. And then this point right here, instead of ending at 3, 1, it's going to end up at 3, negative 1 half because it's half the distance off the x-axis. OK, so that's the second one where we have a shrink and a reflection. What happens if we change our h value, our left to right? Okay, anytime you have an x minus h, this h is your horizontal shift. I'm going to go to the right 2. So I'm just going to take this entire function. I'm not going to change it vertically. I'm going to change it horizontally, and I'm going to move it to the right 2. So my starting point will now be at 0. Uh, I'll go up first. Then I'll hit the x-axis. Then I'll go down. Then I'll hit the x-axis, and then I go up to 1. And here is my transformation. So it's the same graph, just moved to the right by 2. So my domain now changes, and it's going from 0 to 5. That's my domain, and my range would still remain negative 2 to positive 2. Okay, so the A value changes your range. The H value changes your domain. So what would K do? Or wait a minute, the next one it looks like we're looking at a negative X. So if you negate your X, what's it going to do to your function? Well, if I plug in a 1, I'm going to evaluate it as if it's negative 1. So I'm just reflecting over this x-axis. So this positive part moves over here. And the negative part moves over here and gets reflected. So I'm just reflecting that over the axis, and that's what the negative x will do, just reflection over the y-axis. Now, 
what happens when I take my function and I add 3? That is my vertical shift. I'm going to take the function. I'm not going to change it left to right. I'm going to shift it up and down. So if I'm shifting this up 3, this point at negative 2, 0 will be at negative 2, positive 3. And of course, from there, I'll go up 2 to the positive 5. And I'll come back. Oops. And then we'll drop down to this 1. And then we'll be back even, and then we'll go up. So all we're doing is sliding our graph up by 3. So that's how the k value works. Now what happens when we put all these transformations together? So we have more than one transformation. So let's look what we're going to do. We're going to have a stretch of 2, but we're also reflecting. So we have to think about this going up to 4 and down to 0, and down to negative 4, back to 0, and up to 2. But it's going to reflect, so I'm going to go down, up, up, down with a little reflection. Okay, that's what the negative 2 will do. We're also, we also have a left to right shift. This formula is x minus h, so this is actually a left shift by 1. So all these points are going to move over by 1, and then also down by 4. So let's see, if I'm going left and down, this is actually my new origin right here, because I'm going left 1 and then down 4. Then from here, I've got a stretch by 2. So if I'm at 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, that means I'm going to hit here, but remember I'm reflecting. So that means I'm going to have to draw a couple more here. I'm actually going to go down to negative 8 and then back. And then here I'm going to go up to 0, 0 the origin, and then over. And then I'm reflecting, so instead of going one below, it's going to go two more. And boom, there is, whoops, try to curve it out a little more. Sorry about this little section. Let's make this look a little smoother. There we go. So that is putting all this all these transformations together into one curve. So you're going to be applying those transformations to the different functions that we have. So good luck on this lesson and see what you can do. Thank you for watching.